During that period, I could certainly feel that uh, because of all these new people that were walking through the lobby of the hospital, that uh, the UAW was introducing a lot of members because uh, that was the base of HAP at, at when, it, when it first uh, started uh, with this relationship with Henry Ford. Uh, they could see a stream of patients, and there was a national uh, thing going on where HMOs were coming into vogue. And so, yes, Henry Ford began to see that we need to, we need to grow this thing, we need to own it, we need to embrace it. And, and yes, they could see and they could make some projections of how profitable it could help the system be. Uh, there were several HMOs uh, during the 80s that were actually spun off because there was such a demand for them and the, and, and the wellness plan. Some of these huge HMOs were acquiring local HMOs. And I'm sure at some point in time, maybe the system even thought about selling it because it was so profitable. It could, could generate so much cash for them. But uh, better judgment prevailed and they continued to hold on to it.